For more on this, I'm joined now by Salon Simmons. He's a professor at George Mason's University, Inst George Mason University's Institute for Conflict Analysis and Resolution. Of course, he joins us tonight from Washington. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you again. So what do you make of this poll? Are you surprised? That's almost 20% of Americans polled. You know, this is one of those times where you want to go back in history, grab George Gallup by the lapels, shake him and say, thanks for giving us this uh, polling technology, but why did you have to get us hooked on this polling technology? It's a little bit crazy. It's one of these findings which it's a, perhaps it's surprising. You can get Americans to say, about 20% of Americans to say quite a bit, uh, almost anything that you might want them to say. But, but seriously, the, the, probably what this says is that in this, this phase of a president's career, when he's, he's facing trouble, he's facing economic problems, uh, people try to delegitimate the president. They try to come up with reasons why he's not a good president. It happened to George Bush. It happened to Bill Clinton. It happens to all presidents. It just so happens that, Bill, that Barack Obama is vulnerable in, merely in terms of who he is. Okay, his name is different. Uh, his father was Muslim. Uh, people even question whether he was born in the United States, and he, more people believe that, that, he, that he's yeah. not really born in the United States than believe this. There's so many ways that people try to delegitimate this president, and this is just another way to do it. Now, it's on the rise, I think, probably in part because people are upset that there's a lot of tension in the country. And if you look, if you break these numbers out, by the way, this organization that did this is, is a great organization so that we can rely on these mm -hmm. numbers. But if, if you disapprove of the, of the president, then you're much more likely to uh, believe that, uh, that he's a Muslim and, and, and than if, then if you approve of him, which, which says that's, that makes us suspect in the first place. And who cares anyway? I mean, this is well, one of these things. It, it's, it, go ahead. That was going to be my next question. What does it matter if he is? It, it, yeah, I mean, presumably this is a country where we're very open to... Uh, we already, well, yeah, this is an interesting fact. So Judeo-Christian civilization is a fairly recent invention. We didn't usually talk about that kind of uh, aggregation of solidarity prior to World War II. Now people are talking about Abrahamic civilization, that is, the religions that go back to, to Abraham, and that includes Muslims, Jews, Christians, people. And that's, in fact, part of what's going on in, in this larger controversy about the mosque that we might talk about. But the, you know, there's this, this aggregation of religions, this, this, uh, this openness to, a, to a, a wider basis of solidarity is a very American thing, and it's actually becoming a, a something very common in the world. So why should people care? The only reason that they might want to care is because they're trying to plant a campaign issue for November. And by the way, if this becomes the campaign issue that we suspect that it will, I think it's going to be ba very bad for America. Because who wants, when you're in the midst of two wars, whether Iraq is ending or not, in Muslim countries, who wants there to be tensions uh, of this kind yeah. that are based on very, on almost nothing at all? I mean, this is not the group, this is not planting the flag of Al-Qaeda at nine, at uh, the, the sacred site uh, of, uh, of uh, Ground Zero. This is, in fact, a very a very moderate group in its own way that has goals which are which are at least on on their face uh, are trying to bring people together. It's a very it's a very potentially divisive thing, and I think it's a, it's dangerous waters for the Republicans to get into this and try to mix it up too much. Yeah, and as you mentioned, this well, you mentioned the mosque issue, and this yeah. survey was done before Barack Obama came out last weekend with his comments uh, in support of that mosque being built near. So it can only uh, be worse now, train. right? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be worse now. Uh, just quickly before we run out of time, should the president care? I mean, I mean, should this be an issue for him? And as you mentioned, they're going into the elections in November. Yeah, I think that what we have to hope, and this is the, the way I put it is this, Americans, when they look back over history, uh, whether, whether it's uh, putting uh, uh, Japanese in, in, in camps or it's excluding Jews from clubs or it's the civil rights exclusions themselves, we like to look back on moments when we were tolerant. This is a moment when Americans can be tolerant. Uh, most Americans don't want the mosque to be where it's going to be, and yet they, they believe in religious freedom. I think that we, we have to hope that this will be a moment when we can look back and be proud that Americans were tolerant, were open, uh, and, and did not make this the kind of uh, a riled-up situation that it looks like it's going to become. Let's hope so. Salon Simmons, great to have you on. Thanks.